do you wonder? So let's We've seen outcomes in math rise across the board, six through eight, and that culminates with Algebra One. It's about the preparation. When a student is successful in Algebra One in eighth grade, they're essentially skipping at least one year somewhere in middle school. For us, what that looks like is typically seventh grade, you're taking one and a half years worth of math to be able to be prepared for a high school credit class in eighth grade. We hit the math foundation part up big time in flex. So we have a flex period, universally fourth period. So the whole school is, in, is doing flex and three days a week for the last couple of years has been focused on math using either adaptive digital content, small group pullouts based on map data, and they can really focus on the strands that those students need, not just in algebraic thinking, but across the board. And that starts in sixth grade. Here at HACAP, eighth graders take Algebra One. And so I teach all Algebra One students here. I get to loop with them. So I have them for seventh grade. So we do two years and one in seventh grade, and then for eighth grade, assuming they do well the year prior, and they get to take Algebra One for high school credit when they go to high school. So they can go into ninth grade already having a math credit. Ready. I feel like something I really stress in my classroom because they're getting older and they're taking a high school course but they're in middle school so they still have all those things going on in middle school and they're not they're very independent they want to be independent but they need a little bit more hand holding so I really stress a lot in my class of the importance of just being an independent learner I do a lot of peer classwork I let them work in groups a lot it's been working I, I see every year a big change from when they're seventh graders and they need a lot of hand holding and then by eighth grade I just see the dramatic change and they start to really care about their learning and it's not even for me it's just for them and I just think that is awesome. So in Algebra 1 Miss Beer lets us work with partners and groups which is uh, I feel like it's a lot more fun because you get to learn ideas from other people and what they what they think about um, the math. Instruction number one is always going to be um, first and foremost. So having strong instructional, um, core instructional program is absolutely necessary for all of our learners. So our teachers are going to make sure that our students are doing well, that they are going to be supported as they're sufficiently challenged. And in addition to our core instructional program and the assistance our teachers offer during our win period, which a lot of people refer to as flex, we use Alex, which is adaptive math software, three times a week. And so that's also going to help support the students in making sure we're filling any gaps. And that's for all students, but also those who are accelerated, because I think it's something to remember that no matter how well a student is doing, they still may have gaps. So we want to shore up those gaps or shore up those areas of opportunity but also make sure we're accelerating them efficiently. We started with expressions and equations, and I gave them a little project yesterday about um, connecting the word problem to the graph, to the equation, to the table. And so they did that. And then today, they just got to work, well, they did that by themselves. And then today, they had to work together. We started in the textbook, where they were basically doing the same thing. So if they were able to do that, we should be able to work very quickly through unit two. Win was very useful because it wasn't like directed you could do what you needed to do. And also a LLC uh, where you could go eat your lunch and also learn with the teacher that you need help with. And they can talk you through the things that you need help with. And for the ELC, I went to LLC a couple times to go over the things that I didn't understand. And that helped me get a great score on the ELC. We've experienced some significant gains in Algebra 1 here at Deer Park over the last year, and it's been pivotal to really diving into the data to seeing what, where we have some pitfalls and trying to really be strategic in how we address those. We've used that opportunity through PLCs, really using that data-driven instruction that we've had tons of PD on uh, within the last year, and it's really helped so far. One of the other things that I've noticed within the last couple of years of being a middle school principal is that in that high school level class, the students needed more time. And so what we were managed to do here at Deer Park on top of their flex period, we managed to have all Algebra 1 students, they are able to get at least 100 minutes of Algebra 1 every day. And so that allows for a slower pace. When I stepped foot in Algebra 1, I felt like it was going to be really hard, but the things that she helped us with, like the scientific Desmos calculator and the graphic, it helps me open up more and try to visualize more things with math and also highlighting and taking notes like avid skills. We took notes to know vocabulary words and some more give a more understanding of like the equation problems. Some of the things that I think have led to increased student achievement 
is the integrated technology use of the Desmos calculator and the use of focused note-taking skills for like avid note-taking skills. So in seventh grade, students really dove into the scientific Desmos calculator in their math class and got real good using that. And in Algebra 1 for the EOC, they're allowed to choose between either the scientific or the graphing. And so this year we focus a lot on that graphing calculator so that they can connect the terms that they're learning in class in the focus note taking with where that would be at on the calculator, how to effectively use that technology of our Desmos calculator. One of the other things that I think might lead to increased student achievement is the avid note taking skills with focus note taking. We use a lot of highlighters and colors to bring out important vocabularies or relate the vocabulary word to what it is actually in a math problem. And I think that really hones in using that better vocabulary for students when they take the EOC at the end of the year.